assalamu alaikum all welcome back to my channel i pray that you are all in the best of health and iman if you are new welcome my name is nafisa i am a muslim life coach and i support sisters with relationship and mental health issues so if you would like to be coached by me you can find me over on my website which i will leave linked in the description box down below today's video guys is much more of like a chilled video and it's my current favorites and there are a few pieces or a few items that i'm currently really really loving and i thought it would be interesting to share some of that with you guys because some of you may find it um beneficial as well so yeah without further ado let's jump straight into it so this first current favorite item i have been using for the first few months and i am absolutely loving it guys and it is this prayer mat right here this is one of those like velvety really thick and soft prayer mats you guys know i have mentioned like getting one of these if you ever go for hajj or umrah and i got someone to get this for me when um, they went for hajj and i have absolutely loved praying on this ever since everyone who has come to visit me and has prayed on this prayer mat has complimented this prayer mat they are like wow nafisa this is this is so nice and it's literally so nice and it's so thick and just so like velvety and cushiony it just takes praying salah to like another level i mean if this doesn't motivate you to pray salah i don't, I don't know what can <laughs> <laughs> so i'm absolutely loving praying on this prayer mat guys and these tend to be a little bit more expensive than your average prayer mat of course um but i think it's absolutely worth it and if you don't mind like if you want to treat yourself to something in the next few months and you don't mind spending that extra bit of money definitely splurge it on getting a prayer mat like this because it's absolutely worth it the sad part about this is that once you get used to praying on this when you pray on a regular prayer mat just a normal one you're going to be thinking why is this so thin <laughs> because this is kind of like a carpet and it's super super comfortable and i'm absolutely loving it at the moment so i highly highly encourage you guys to pick up one of these if you can afford to or even save up for it now i'm saying save up but it doesn't cost like that much money but it is a lot more than a regular prayer mat so yeah but i love it so much so my next favorite is um a book and you guys know Earlier on, towards the end of 2018, I started getting back into like trying to read books again. It's more like listening to audiobooks. <laughs> so I subscribed to Audible and one of the first books that I knew that I had to try to listen to was a book that a friend recommended for me probably a couple of years ago. She's like, Nafisa, you have to read this book. It's really, really good. And I was just like, oh, okay. And then later on, I remembered the book. So I thought, let me search for it. And I asked you guys on Instagram if any of you had read it. And that is A Thousand Splendid Sun. And obviously, I was the one living under a rock because like almost all of you <laughs> who responded had read the book. And you guys said it's one of the best books that you have ever read. So I took on your advice and I went on Audible and downloaded the books, book and listened to it. And guys, I think I finished like listening to the book in literally a few days it's written by an afghan um, american author called khalid husseini hopefully i'm pronouncing that name right and it follows the story of it starts off with the story of one sister who ends up marrying a particular um, man as her husband and this sister goes through a lot of like abuse in her childhood abuse by her mother her mother had a certain condition and it made it very difficult for her to have a healthy upbringing and a healthy life and sadly she ends up getting married to someone i don't want to give out too much of the story but someone that she wasn't quite let's say happy about marrying and it follows her life with that man and then you delve into um later on in her life the husband ends up marrying another woman and then together what ends up happening with the both of them and the husband and sadly the husband is also someone who is abusive as well so the story just grows and grows and grows and it tastes like twists and turns that you would never even expect to even happen and I'm one of those people like I love a happy ending but this is like a reality type of story you know it doesn't end with like a fairy tale ending but it ends in a way that you would you wouldn't expect but it make it would make sense in real life basically and it's written in an absolutely beautiful way like i cannot recommend this book enough and those of you guys who recommended it to me on um 
on Instagram. Please let everyone know how great that book is. So if anyone hasn't read it yet, they can definitely pick it up. And that is A Thousand Splendid Sun by um, Khalid Husseini. Another, I guess you could call a beauty item or a hijabi item, and it is a brooch. I've been looking for brooches that I can wear with my hijab for like special occasions like for example um, weddings or akikas and things like that so I found this really nice brooch um, I actually got this from Whitechapel in East London so you guys knew when I made the video about come a buyer shopping in London with me where I got those abayas from is where I got these brooches from as well but again I know that Amazon has some of these so if you live in an area where you don't have you're not anywhere near then you can order it and I'll leave a link down below of very very similar ones to this one so what I normally do is I do my hijab normally as I would anyway and wherever my pin is that is you know keeping my hijab stable I'll just add the brooch to like the side of it like that and it just kind of instantly just dresses it up and just makes it look extra nice <laughs> again for things like weddings and special occasions and stuff like that so yeah the next favorite then guys is actually a water bottle so you guys have probably seen in enough of my videos I was always carrying that Brita water bottle which is kind of like a filter water bottle but um, a few months back I watched a documentary about the effects of plastic on our earth so I said to myself that I was going to try I'm not by any means saying I don't use any plastic because I still owe plastic items but what I said to myself is that when I'm done using the plastic items that I currently have let's say you know they go off or they're no longer suitable for use i'm going to try to replace them with items that are not plastic so i'm going to try and look for things that are you know are made of materials that are basically biodegradable because a lot of the plastic that we use isn't biodegradable so when that water bottle kind of went funny as you guys know like it develops like brown stuff after some time i threw that away and the other day i went to tk maxx and I picked up this water bottle right here. First and foremost, I was actually attracted by the bamboo because the lid is made of like, let me see. Yeah, the lid is made of bamboo and um, it's obviously a glass water bottle. So I know I have to be a lot more careful with this because it, it is glass, but so far so good. And like I said, I kind of work a lot from home now as well so I'm not traveling as much so I don't have to worry too much about you know breaking this or anything like that and you can actually hold it from like the top and it, it wouldn't like fall down but I still hold it like this just to be on the safe side so if you guys are interested in watching that documentary I'll link it down below it was really really shocking um, it even went on to show um, the places in, on the earth where the plastic ends up like rivers in you know poorer countries and it was just so so sad guys to think that a lot of the plastic that we use on this side of the world ends up in the side of the world who does that don't even have that much in the first place and we're kind of ruining their environment even more and that's just despicable so i kind of just had to start making a change and yeah this is a starting point i guess so this is the jamaican pride jerk seasoning guys I have tried a few jerk seasoning sauces and nothing comes close to this one. It's got spring onions, um, water, jalapenos, salt, uh, allspice, black pepper and nutmeg, lemon juice, ground cloves, dry thymes. Yeah, basically a whole bunch of spices. But guys, it is so, so good. It used to be really spicy to the extent where I'm just like, I love the flavour in this jerk seasoning but the, it's too hot for me. I like hot food, but even this was just like, whoa. And I think they've changed the formula because the spice has gone right down. So now you get, you still get a little bit of a kick out of it, but you get more of the flavor and it's so delicious. I had a guest the other day and I made this with some jollof rice. And as soon as she had the bite in the chicken, she was just like, whoa, Nafisa, what is in this chicken? Like, and I just had to share this with her. So I thought some of you guys who like cooking, you might want to have this um and yeah i will leave it linked in the description box down below but this jerk seasoning sauce is probably as good a sauce as i'm gonna get close to a jerk seasoning so unless there are any jamaicans out there who 
would kindly offer <laughs> to send me their homemade jerk seasoning sauce then I will accept <laughs> but until then this is as good as it gets for me and yeah I would highly recommend it now the next favorite item is kind of a beauty item and um, basically I'm a wimp when it comes to like hair removal like bodily hair removal I just don't like using like razors and stuff and I always end up getting razor bumps don't know why um, so I found this in shower hair removal cream by Veet and this has been my favorite thing so far when it comes to hair removal this particular one is for sensitive skin and it says for legs and the body and it has um, grapeseed oil in it um, it's basically just a cream and you just apply it to the area and you leave it for five minutes and then you wipe it off and all the hair comes off and maybe again I've been living under a rock but ever since I found this it's just been saving me a lot so goodbye to like razors and whatever this is this is now my new favorite so just thought I'll mention it my final current favorite item is one that you guys have been seeing on the backgrounds of my videos quite a lot and that is this candle right here this candle is from Primark and it retails for five pounds and this is a massive candle for five pounds guys and it's the number 43 vintage blossom lily and honeysuckle candle and it burns for up to 60 hours do you know what what first drew me to this candle was the packaging like look how nice the packaging is and I know that once I'm done using this candle I'm going to like take the label off and I can use this this packaging this container to like store other stuff so I really really love it but aside from that it smells really nice if you like yeah if you like like sweet aromas you're gonna like this it smells really really good and I've burnt it for quite a while and you can already already see I'm not even halfway down yet so I love this candle it smells really really good it goes nicely with my home decor I am totally one of those candle people guys so in case you don't know <laughs> that's why I'm sharing this and yeah that is my final favorite item for this video all right guys that concludes all of the current favorite items that I am loving at the moment and they are just making life that bit more enjoyable <laughs> so um yeah if you've enjoyed the video definitely make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and inshallah i will see you guys in my next video assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh